What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Ever wondered what's next for Hiccup, Toothless, and the gang after the epic finale of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World? The trilogy left us with all the feels, but the burning question remains. Is there a How to Train Your Dragon 4 on the horizon? Let's dive into the dragon-filled realm and explore the possibilities that might just take us beyond the skies of Burke. Will our favorite dragon duo embark on yet another adventure, or is it time to bid farewell to these beloved characters? Join me as we unravel the mystery and venture into the intriguing world of how to train your dragon. Make sure to stick till the end because we will also talk about the live-action remake and other projects in the How to Train Your Dragon extended universe. Over the past 10 years, those awesome movies based on Cressida Cowell's children's books by DreamWorks, they've become a total sensation. I mean, the first film racked in a whopping $494 million globally. And the sequel, How to Train Your Dragon 2, soared even higher at $621 million. The third movie, The Hidden World, pulled in $525 million, making the entire franchise a massive box office hit, clocking in at over $1.65 billion. Talk about hitting the jackpot. Now let's talk dragons. The latest film, The Hidden World, picks up a year after the last one. Hiccup's all grown up, taking charge as the chief of Burke. But hold on, things get tricky. The dragon population is booming, and there's this dragon hunter, Grimmel, on a mission to nab Toothless, who's now the big boss dragon, the Alpha. Drama, right? But Toothless isn't just about finding a new home for the Vikings, he's got his eyes set on a new lady dragon, the Light Fury. In Hollywood these days, it's all about franchises and beloved IPs, right? like everyone's into the sequel game. But what about How to Train Your Dragon 4? It's a burning question. Now, if we go by the usual studio playbook, they'd probably want to keep the dragon fire burning, right? But here's the deal. Typically, trilogies are like the gold standard. And guess what? How to Train Your Dragon 3 is the grand finale, the last chapter in the epic tale they've been spinning. The maestro behind the whole trilogy, Dean Dublas, has been steering this dragon ship from the get-go. And he's been pretty clear that this third movie is where the story bows out gracefully. Dean's been dropping hints about his plan for nearly half a decade, even back in 2014. He managed to talk down DreamWorks from the idea of a How to Train Your Dragon 4. So as we wrap up How to Train Your Dragon 3, it's like a proper closing of the book on Hiccup and Toothless. They've had their adventures, shed a few tears, and reached a seriously satisfying conclusion. The main plot ties up with a super emotional farewell, right? Dragons are saying adieu and heading off to the hidden world, but wait for it, we get a sneak peek into the future. Fast forward a few years and boom, Hiccup and Astrid are all grown up, married, and have kids running around. They decide to take a little family trip to the Hidden World's entry point, and guess who's there? Toothless, the Light Fury, and their adorable baby dragons. The movie wraps up with a reunion between a more mature Hiccup and Toothless. Now if that doesn't scream more adventures to come, what does? So even though we thought it was goodbye, it looks like there's a whole new chapter waiting to unfold in How to Train Your Dragon 4. As much as we'd love another round of dragon adventures, it's not looking too likely right now. The last time they tossed around the idea was back in 2014, and since then, things have been pretty quiet on the dragon front. Dean Dublas, the mastermind behind the trilogy, seems pretty content with how he wrapped things up in How to Train Your Dragon 3. Now, even though we had that snazzy time jump in the last movie, it doesn't seem like a fourth installment is in the cards. Dubla hasn't shown much interest in keeping the dragon tail alive, and let's face it, a fourth film might just feel like an unnecessary add-on to Hiccup and Toothless's epic stories. Plus, it could involve a whole new creative team, and that's a game-changer. While we can't completely rule out the possibility, How to Train Your Dragon 4 hasn't been officially announced or given a release date. So at this point, the chances of it happening are kind of up in the air. Alright, let's talk timelines for how to train your Dragon 4. Hypothetically speaking, of course. Even if DreamWorks and Dubla have a change of heart and decide to give us more dragon goodness, we can't expect it to hit screens anytime soon. 
Animated films are like slow-cooked stews. They need time to develop all that flavor. Just to put things in perspective, there were four years between the first two Dragon movies and a solid five years between the second and the third. So if we apply the same logic to How to Train Your Dragon 4, we're looking at a patient wait. If, and that's a big if, they started working on it today, we might be looking at a release date in 2026 at the earliest. And hey, that's if everything goes smoothly in the dragon production layer. Meanwhile, we have got great news because How to Train Your Dragon is making its way to the live action scene. Things are about to get a lot more real in Burke, and we've got the lowdown on everything you need to know about the upcoming live action remake set for 2025. First things first, let's talk cast. While there are still some roles up for grabs, we've got our leads locked in. Mason Thames, known for his stint in The Black Phone, is taking on the role of Fearless Hiccup. And joining him is Nico Parker, whom you might recognize from The Last of Us bringing the tough and talented Astrid to life. These rising stars are strapping on their Viking helmets to give us a fresh take on our favorite dragon-filled world. But hey, keep your eyes peeled for more casting announcements, there are still a bunch of roles waiting to be filled. Dean Dublas, the visionary behind the animated film, is the driving force bringing How to Train Your Dragon 2025 into the live-action realm. In his roles as producer, writer, and director, we can anticipate a loyal interpretation of the source material infused with some fresher prizes. This mirrors the creative involvement of Neil Druckmann, who played a key role in both The Last of Us video game and the HBO series. Universal Pictures, the powerhouse overseeing DreamWorks Animation, will support the film's production. Let's take a stroll down the dragon-filled memory lane and explore the vibrant world of the How to Train Your Dragon extended universe. DreamWorks Dragon's animated series, an integral part of the How to Train Your Dragon mythos, this animated series delves into episodic tales about supporting characters and smaller stories within the Dragon's universe. It follows the adventures of Hiccup and his friends unfolding events between the first and second movies. Riders of Burke, Defenders of Burke, and Race to the Edge. These shows take us even deeper into the Dragon's world, working in tandem with the feature films. They intricately explore the lore-heavy aspects of the story, while also delving into the relationships between Hiccup, his friends, and the heart of it all, Burke, with its unique bond with dragons. Multiple storylines unfold across all three iterations of the series, giving fans a robust and interconnected narrative. Dragons, the Nine Realms Fast forward 1,300 years after the events of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, and you get Dragons, the Nine Realms. This sequel series unfolds in a world where dragons are distant memories, relegated to legends from a forgotten time. In the present day, a group of kids uncovers the truth about dragons and their hidden existence. Featuring a fresh cast of characters, Dragons the Nine Realms expands on the established lore of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. While it may lean towards a younger demographic compared to its predecessors, it's still a worthwhile watch for those keen on continuing their exploration of this captivating, dragon-filled universe. Well, that's it for today. Let me know your take on it in the comments section. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.